Here, Dad. Yeah, so here we made it to the top of the mountain. It's pretty awesome. And uh, it doesn't disappoint. Your, you and Shannon's reaction coming through this snow ghost was uh, priceless. So hopefully we caught that. Dude, like, but, yeah. this is like what you see in, you know, free, Muskoka Freerider videos <laughs> of the, of like the trees and stuff. Like you don't, Only I never thought I was going to be able to see tanky. this and get pictures of something like this. Watch it. <laughs> That's why you got the wire on it. <laughs> Your flies down. Number two. Oh, my flies I said down. your flies down. Yeah, yeah. This unit's running great today. Shannon and Corey's units are always running good because I actually maintain them. <laughs> uh, Curved skis actually fix the handling on this temporarily, right? I do want to do a video on that actually because the curved skis, we 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 got the curved skis two years ago, and we put them uh, on the six hundred. Yeah, 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 twenty twenty two. Put them on the six hundred, and they fix the steering issues with the six hundred. I had the Pilot TX skis on the twenty two and twenty three um, ski to eight fifty, and I didn't. Put them on because with the pilot tx it's a different spindle so it's a lot of monkeying around with the spindle and stuff you could put them on but it's a little bit of monkeying around and i didn't really mind the pilot tx skis to be honest so this year i i got the the pilot x skis they don't have the adjustable carbides but we actually got quality pieces uh adventures and we put the there's videos on that which we're really happy with but i thought you know what since we're up here and we got equal trail conditions I'll fire the Curve XS uh, skis on this beast and uh, and see what it performs like. And I don't know if I'm going to take these off, to be honest, because they are working. They really also good look today. pretty cool on this. I mean, I, I always loved them on the 600 because it was like this nice. It kind of tied that unit that sled together because it was like we had all the modifications done to it, and it was kind of like one last little piece. But these look really aggressive on a on a Gen 5. Yeah. The and uh, they I, the, the only thing I can say about them is if you look at the comparison between the pilot and the the, the curb XS, it's a lot wider ski. So the when you have a trailer like ours, it's a little narrow. It's tough to put the sleds beside each other. Um, so we may switch them back before we get into that. I guess we could lower the the stance, move those bushings so that it's got a thinner ski stance. But it's a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a pain. Yeah. Well, I think it'll go. Yeah. But we'll try it. I'm really happy with the way they're performing. So there's no reason for me to take them off. Yeah, as you can see, I was worried about putting the two sleds beside each other in the trailer, but actually they fit perfectly. We've got the Gen 4 with uh, stock pilots on and we have the uh, Curve XS and there's still, still a good gap between them. So they fit in nice and cozy. We have always had to push the sledge right to the wall when we loaded this thing. So um, that doesn't change with the curb excess, but you can see here, there's plenty of room between the skis and the super clamps. And we'll just take a quick measure just so I can confirm this with you guys. My trailer is 98 inches between the wood walls and pushing the, the measuring tape against the wall uh, we're sitting at about 49 and a half inches to the to the ski less than that 49 and probably three eighths inches to the ski on the gen 5. if i measure the gen 4 just for laughs we are about 47 and a half um, you'll see the bump out for that that outer carbide um, might be a little bit better than 47 and a half or or more but uh, actually kind of impressed. The curved skis don't add that much more space. And I've still got, between the narrowest part of the ski, there's uh, three quarters of an inch uh, clearance. So the sleds do fit up uh, with, the, with the curve excess on if you're concerned about the width of it. But yeah, I always say that those, 
stock pilots. There's a stock pilot uh, next to the curve XS. And uh, the sleds aren't in the exact position of each other, but you can see that, you know, it's quite a bit more narrow. But yeah, I'll run it like this uh, for the rest of the weekend. And, and uh, um, thank you, Curve Industries, because the skis did help our first one. Gen four and Gen five, they're no different. I mean, and what'd you and what'd you say earlier? You said yesterday when I would take off ahead of the group, you couldn't touch yeah, me yeah, on with the. So I have the Pilot five sevens with the eight inch Trex from Quali Pieces, and they, they, you said you couldn't touch me yesterday with your eight inch Adventures on the Pilot Xs, but today you were saying that you were right oh, on yeah, me, and I'm I looked right back and you, you were yeah. right. You're yeah. on me, my tail the whole yeah. time. It's confidence. Like this, this puts the confidence back in me. Your Trex, I gotta say, that's my favorite carbide. Oh, of, dude, of the, it's you'll yeah. if you actually watch the video of us riding up to this mountain. I am riding one handed at seventy k an yeah. hour. Just it, it's it's like having power steering with yeah, the Trex. It's no no joke, and we, you can't understand what we mean by power steering until you actually first sit on it. It's kind of crazy. It's, it's, it's effortless it's to steer that the sled. Steering is. And it grips. It's not like it's pushing or, or being really heavy in the turns. Um, but uh, yeah, I just I just wanted to point out again uh, the Curve XS skis. If you're having a ski issue with your Gen Five, then this would be a good replacement for for you. Um, I know a lot of dealers are getting uh, back ordered on the skis. Um, don't hesitate to pick up a set of Curve XS because that is the better solution for. Um, your replacement skis. These are my favorite aftermarket yeah. skis by far. Yeah. Well, I think they look really cool. Um, obviously, nothing against any other aftermarket ski, but uh, you know these are designed. They're, the trail ski is the same as their deep snow ski. All the only difference is they put different. Um, I don't even remember what they call those, but they're like these little fins that mount. And depending on your track length and what you're using the ski for, you can order different versions of those fins. These are the 129 R Motion ones, which I don't know if the 137s would make a difference. I don't know if they're for cooling or for grip, or, yeah, I don't know. but they look cool. So, you know, yeah. that adds something, but. Yeah, I, just, it, I don't know what they, but yeah, they an option. So this fix, the ski. these fix the Roscoe 129 R-Motion 600 E-Tech, and they have now fixed this machine for this weekend. Well, I think we should, I think we need to, for the purposes of fullness, we need to go back to Pilot X skis and go back to the drawing board. I think comparing these two and comparing how Roscoe felt, I think this one needs a little up in the front end, and then maybe the the Pilot X will work. I think that they're no. I found with the Pilot X it was too too light in the front end. Too light. Okay. Yeah, these make it better, and these have the woodpecker carbides on them, and we have the dual uh, woodpecker carbide on that side. We put a single on the other side, and that's something that, that as per recommendation. Uh, yeah, the, when Curve XS was on the Snowmobile Sessions Live podcast, he said that's what it, that's what a lot of people run. His wife prefers it on the Gen 4 is to have the double and the single. So you have three really carbides on it. Which and seems it, silly, but when yeah. I, we did and I took it to Sudbury, I noticed a difference. Yeah, oh, it, it's totally different. Because that's actually, when you think about it, that's the part of the trail which is the most messed up. Because yeah. that's your double lane traffic. Yeah. The right ski has a pretty large amount of fresh snow to go with. That left one's the one that'll be darting all the time and we'll be catching stuff yeah. as they're going down the trail yeah it kind of doesn't make sense but we put the, du the it, dual woodpecker on and the single woodpecker on that one and it kicks because ass. you can only get the unfortunately koala pieces doesn't make carbides for the ski so you can only buy skis uh, you a lot of people sell them so if you go to your dealer or your uh your um world distributing or any of your power sports stores wherever they may be you can ask for curve carbides or buy them right from curve industries when you buy your skis they have a great website and it's a small family owned business so what i like is that you can actually shoot an email and, and the the owner the designer the guy that developed these gets back to you so that was really cool that's important how many companies can say that so but yeah that's my little review on them we love them and uh, people have been bugging me hey where's the review on the curve access skis yeah, because I guess got, yeah. I guess we never really, but it, it's in it's, all the videos that you'll is. hear me going. I think the first video in Sud, the first Sudbury. weekend was Sudbury twenty two, and I'm like, I'm like, holy crap! Like this thing never turned this good ever, yeah, and it's yeah. tracking. If you watch the videos, there's reviews on them throughout that season. Um, how much we love them on that six hundred. Uh, I love them on this too. I think it's uh, it's done great today. I've got the confidence back, you know. So, um, and it's been a tough. 
it's been really tough to go from the TX adjustable carbide to this. I know some people hate the adjustable carbides. I didn't have you love them. them. I love them. Corey Jinks, Skidoo Ambassador, love them too. So um, you just got to take the time to adjust them. That's the key. And once you figure that out, you can dial those things in literally through the day. And that's what I really liked about them. But for now, these work great. The quality pieces are working great. So I don't really have any um, anything else to say. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and give this video a, a thumbs up. Thank you. Something's wrong with my left carbide. Oh, you know what it is? Same thing happened to me. It gets it's filled clogged. with ice. The woody shaper gets filled with ice. Yeah. So, yeah, you just have to deal with that. That happened in Thunder. Remember? Now it's really that? hard to steer. Remember I was complaining about that? Thunder? Yeah. Said, I said, you feel I don't know, like we, I lost my left carbide. Yeah, we did clean it out. Yeah, it feels like it's broken. Yeah. yeah. They clog right up. I had a huge chunk of ice in there. I thought it broke my carbide. It was that handling that bad. So it happened last year as well. Yeah, it happened last year in Sudbury. They get so hot when the trails are low. There we go, buddy. Thank you. Enough. You ready? Yep. They get so hot when there's no snow on the trail. Then you hit s snow or mud, and you just ice right up in there. It gets hot. It gets no cold, mercy. All the dirt gets in it, and then you that yep. gets hot on the road. And yeah. then you hit cold and it freezes to the carbide. Yeah. Because it's metal. Thanks for letting me stop. That was brutal. No, it's fine.